This video is brought to you by mywayteaching.com. Okay, in this physical quantities, uh, so in this physical quantities, which is uh, uh, again, there are some systems will come under this physical quantities. Okay, so in that, uh, there are uh, uh, there are various system of units for physical measurement which were developed at different times. So some of them are as follows. They are FPS system, CGS system, MKS system and SI system. So okay, uh, as is uh, as uh, shown in this, uh, just uh, refer this, uh, this is a FPS system. F means uh, this is a foot and P means pound and S means second which is in the year 1588 okay then cgs system centimeter gram and second in the year 19, 9, 1791 to 1795 which is discovered then the mks system the m means meter and kilogram and in second so this is in the year 1971 to 19, 1791 to 1795 so india accepted both two and three in 1956 this is the SI system we are using it in our daily life so okay uh, where everywhere it is accepted this is very important SI system so in the year 1971 the lay system international day notes okay so this is about the physical quantities and the system and the next one is uh, how SI units means uh, how they are uh, in the in the these are the physical uh, <clears throat> these are the base base quanti base physical quantities okay these are the uh, see here these are the base physical quantity these are the symbol for quantity and name of si units and this is for symbol for si units okay just consider this is a length first one is length which it is represented by l okay so again this can be meter correct so then this is in si unit it is re represented as m like mass which is m this is symbol for quantity is m and this is the kilogram and this is the kg okay kg means mass we are telling it meter give me a hundred meter of cloth okay like that we are asking so like that hundred this is kg okay like that a time which is of t and second and this is the symbol for si unit is yes electric current is i ampere and this is a okay thermodynamic temperature temperature can be symbol for quantities t okay kelvin the si unit is k Ab amount of abundant substance okay this is n and this can be a mole then the SI unit is mole luminous intensity so this is IV candela and CD name of the SI units so these are the uh, symbol of SI units for SI units so this please note it down this is very important okay and the next is this is the prefixes used in SI system okay these are the prefixes used in the SI system so in that uh, it is uh, very important uh, when you are going to solve a problems okay uh, okay consider this as a 10 deca this is da symbol is okay then uh, 10 raised to minus 1 is deci d 10 raised to minus 2 is centi centi means c 10 raised to minus 3 is milli this is m 10 raised to minus 6 micro this is the symbol for micro nano this is the symbol for nano 10 raised to minus 9 10 raised to minus 12 is pico and this is p okay so 10 raised to minus 15 is femto and f so up to here you just you should remember okay this is very important you should remember up to here after that these are also important just you should know what are these okay 10 raised to minus 18 means atto this is a and zepto means z and acto means y okay so while solving the problem just you should note down um, whatever the these are decimal centi milli micro nano pico and femto so coming to this side 10 raised to 2 is hecto h 
टेन रेज टू थ्री इज किलो के टेन रेज टू सिक्स मेगा यम टेन रेज टू नाइन गीगा जी ओके टेन रेज टू ट्वेल्व टेरा टी टेन रेज टू फिफ्टीन पेटा एंड पी सो हियर ऑल्सो अप टू फिफ्टीन जस्ट रिमेंबर ओके आफ्टर दिस यू शुड नो बट इट्स नॉट नेसेसरी यू विल नॉट यूज ऑल दिज वॉट एवर दैट प्रिफेक्सेस इन जस्ट सॉल्विंग द प्रॉब्लम्स दिज आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ओके अप टू फिफ्टीन हियर अप टू फिफ्टीन हियर अप टू माइनस फिफ्टीन डे टेन रेज टू एटीन एक्सा एक् देन टेन रेज टू ट्वेंटी वन जेटा जेड टेन रेज टू ट्वेंटी फोर या योर टू वाई सो दिस इज अबाउट द प्रिफेक्सेस ओके एंड द नेक्स्ट is uh, the i just explained sa unit is which is accepted universally okay internationally which is accepted here which is accepted uni, uh, universally so this is a sa units and uh, some of the derived units just consider the definition of sa units and derived units okay then first coming to the uh, sa unit okay uh, in that uh, consider the mass first one is mass mass means amount of a matter present in a substance this is called mass its sa unit is kilogram okay which its sa unit is mass and its sa unit is kilogram uh, please note it down note down this definition amount of a matter okay which is present in a substance is called mass then the second one is volume volume is called derived unit i mean mass is a what basic unit here and volume is a derived unit derived unit of volume by using sa unit is meter cube how volume formula of volume is length breadth into height so which can be meter 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 sa unit correct then you are obtaining meter cube so this is about the volume okay and uh, this is the figure Uh, as uh, i am explaining that the each one one part is there this is of 1 cm okay which is of uh, see here uh, which is of 1 cm and uh, total there are the 10 parts 1 2 3 like this up to here there are a 10 so that 10 cm or 1 or mm, uh, 1 dm okay so this is uh, see here as shown in this figure this is of 1 cm like this there are 10 uh, boxes means there are 10 cm okay so volume can be measured by using the burette this is a burette and this is the pipette and this is the graduated cylinder and this is volumetric flask so in chemistry laboratory smaller volumes are often uh, denoted in centimeter cube and meter cube smaller volumes are smaller volumes centimeter cube and uh, decimeter cube okay they can be uh, decimeter cube units so a common unit is a liter is a common unit okay liter is a common unit and uh, si which is not an si unit which is not this is not an si unit okay this is not an si unit okay so uh, here when smaller volume is used the unit is a milliliter as i explained that milli milli means what 10 raised to minus 3 okay so in laboratory volume of liquids can be measured by using uh, i just uh, this is a cylinder and pipette burette and volumetric flask okay this is about the volume and next is the density third one is density this is a derived unit okay density of a substance is the amount of mass per unit volume so mass per unit volume derived unit of density using sa unit is a and o mass by volume the sa unit of mass you know this is a kg okay then the volume is meter cube so that this is kg per meter cube please note down this definition density of a substance is the amount of mass per unit volume derived unit of density by using sa unit is a density mass per volume sa unit of mass is kg and sa unit of volume i have explained you meter cube how this meter cube come here the volume uh, volume is equal to 
length into breadth into height length is measured in meter and this is also meter this is also meter so that you obtained meter cube okay so that you have obtained meter cube so kg we know the s unit of mass so this is about the density and the next is the temperature fourth one okay so basic unit this is called basic unit okay so measurement of temperature uh, it is done in the two units that is of degree celsius and degree faraday okay the si unit of the temperature is kelvin both scales can be related to each other by the following relationship i now i will explain you the relationship okay hmm. so how it is uh, defined means this is degree faraday okay so this is 9 by 5 degree celsius plus 32 so just if you want to measure in degree faraday uh, how the degree faraday and degree celsius are related note it down and the next is kelvin kelvin degree celsius plus 273.15 okay so but normally we are exp expressing it as k is equal to degree celsius plus 273 so please note it down the kelvin which is a very important because you are uh, using this in a problem kelvin if any degree celsius is given uh, temperature is given in a degree celsius you should convert into kelvin this is the formula for converting into kelvin so zero degree celsius so zero degree celsius okay zero degree celsius uh, is equal to 32 degree faraday is equal to 273 kelvin uh, it should be noted that a temperature below the zero degree celsius okay below the zero degree celsius can be possible in celsius scale okay this can be possible in celsius scale but which is not possible in the kelvin okay you negative temperature you cannot measure in the kelvin negative temperature you should not negative temperature what you should not measure in kelvin next topic so before going to that this is considered this is the kelvin okay this is the kelvin celsius and farad so kelvin 273 298 kelvin 3 this is the si unit okay 0 degree celsius 25 degree 37 degree celsius freezing point of water is 0 degree celsius that is in farad uh, you are uh, fahrenheit in uh, fahrenheit you are this is of 32 degree farad next nice to 25 degree celsius you are in the celsius scale and the room temperature and human body temperature is 37 degree celsius boiling water is 100 degree celsius like that this is the uh, equal to that of the fahrenheit you are measuring then this is the kelvin so freezing point of the water is 273 kelvin and room temperature is 298 kelvin and uh, human body temperature is 310 kelvin and this is 373 kelvin okay the next two concept is okay uh fourth and this one is fifth one hmm. so this is the fifth one this is a length this is a basic unit yes unit of length is meter you know yes unit of length is meter the meter was redefined in 1983 by cgpm that is conference general dashboard set measures so length length is measured si unit of units of si unit of length is meter not only length breadth and height they all are measured in the meter this is about the si unit of length okay so uh, now uh, this is all about the definitions okay definitions of what please can you tell me what is this this is these are the some of the definitions of si units and the derived units are mentioned okay so i will give you one just one glance of this 
so that you can easily remember so come from this only here only so here definitions of si units in that mass volume okay in here too amount of matter present in a substance is called mass and its si unit is kilogram like that uh, volume derived unit of a volume by using a si unit is meter cube if you know the formula for volume just write like this length breadth and height and meter meter so meter cube this is how we, we are measuring the burette uh, me measuring the liquids okay volume how we are measuring okay this is the figure density means mass per volume si unit of mass is kg and si unit of the volume is meter cube okay the next is temperature how degree faraday kelvin and degree celsius okay so just in that you have to remember about the kelvin and the next this is how we are measuring the last is length si unit of length is meter the meter was redefined in 1983 by cgpm okay 